to the final of the Serbian Sommelier National Competition for this year. There will be six, six tasks for every competitor on this competition where they will present their sommelier knowledge and skills. Before we start, the president of the Serbian uh, Association, sommelier Association will say a few words. That's Mr. Dejan Zhikovsky. Please, Mr. Zhikovsky, take the stage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I would like to apologize to the hard guest. I will speak on Serbia. Nothing special. I will just describe you. Dobro reče svima. Drago mi je da vas vidim u velikom broju. I ono što želim da vam kažem da smo izuzetno srećni i ponosni što možemo još jedan put da vas sve ugustimo i također da održimo ovo značajno takmičenje za sve nas. Danas malo kasnimo jer smo po prvi put za šest takmičenja, znači na ovom sedmu takmičenju se prvi put desilo da smo u polufinalu na trećem i četvrtom mestu imali dva takmičara sa identičnim brojem bodova. To je razlog zašto se kasnilo skoro sad vremena, malo jače, dok smo sve, da kažem, ono daštali, što bi rekli naši stari. Sada smo to završili, imamo trojicu finalista koji će ući i koji se nadam da će pokazati sve svoje veštine i svoje svoje znanje i da ćete u tome uživati. Prije nego što krenemo dalje, zahvalio bi se najprej svim članovima Udruženja Somelijera Srbije, Udruženja Somelijera Vojvodine, Asocijacije Somelijera Šumadije i pozdravio bih Udruženje Somelijera Zlatigorskog okruga. Kompletno ovo takmičenje su pripremile Đorđe Katić i Nina Mirković. Svi mi ostali smo tu više bili, da kažem, onako, podrška za štampu, za prevoženje, dovoženje i, da kažem, neke sitnije zahvate. Također bih se veoma puno zahvalio svim dragim prijateljima koji su nas ponovo podržali na prvom mestu u Vintrahalteru. Gordi Raki, Miloš nije tu, koliko vidim, Staroj Sokolovoj, Bane Ivane, hvala najlepše. Zarić Destileri, ko bi još ispred Zarić? Otišao. Otišao je, hvala njima. Takođe, zahvaljujem se svim srpskim vinarijama koje nas podržavaju već, evo, 14 godina. I takođe, svim destilerijama ostalim, ali ove tri sam malo izdvojio. Posebno zahvalno za večera side takođe firmi Barik D.O., našoj dragoj slađi, Pernolikaru, Energy Staru, naravno našem domaćinu Hayatu i Vinofin. Nadam se da nikog od sponzora nisam zaboravio. Ok, znači nisam. Ono što ću vas sve zamoliti je da isključite svoje mobilne telefone, da slučajno tokom takmičenja ne bismo uznemiravali takmičar. Znači, svi vi koji imate potrebu da se javite, jednostavno izađite, završite svoj razgovor, ali izađite iz restorana. Sada bih pozvao tim takmičar jednevanja tih kao razvojnih skorešćina, Pre nego što takmičari izađu, velika zahvalnost, I would like to say thank you for, I will start from you, Samuel Angelo, who is the president of Finland Association. To Raymonds, who is the champion of this year, European champion. And to Mr. Isabal, who is the winner of 2008.
postigli nešto novo i veliko u svom životu. Ovo je za vas sigurno bilo novo i značajno iskustvo koje će vam koristiti dalje. Iskustvo koje vam je pokazalo gde se nalazite u profesiji somelijeja, koliko ste dobri, koliko nagrada što imate prostora da napredujete, kao i svi mi. Nažalost, samo troje mogu da idu dalje. Pošto ste radili testove po brojevima, na taj način ćemo i prozivati finaliste. Prvi finalista koji ide dalje je finalista sa rednim brojem šest. Ivan Nikolić, dugogodišnji, da kažem i naš takvičari član i predavač udruženja Sumilijera Srbije. Bravo Ivane, česti i tamo, puno sreće na učinu. Sljedeći kandidat koji ide u finale jeste kandidat pod rednim brojem 1. Buk Vuletić, mlada snaga našeg udruženja i veliki potencijal. Očekujemo puno od ovog momka, da budem isti. I od Buk Vuletić, mlada. I treći finalista za večeras jeste finalista sa rednim brojem 2. Ljubomir Bošković, ne, Ljubomir Bošković također, također dugogodišnji član. Ona mi je predavač, ali često putuje van zemlje, pa tako, eto, dolazi samo za takvičenje. Hvala vam. Hvala. Kandidati mogu da sednu. Hvala vam još jedno. Uživajte sad u predstavi koju će finalisti prirediti za vas. Vama trojici želimo puno sreće. Izlačit ćete brojeve po kojima ćete izlaziti na tri finalne discipline. Brojevi se nalaze kod Dejana Žilkovskog u džepu. Ja bih samo iskoristio priliku da, pošto znam da Mnogi interesuje ko je bio taj četvrti koji je malo pomrsio, da kažem, konce, Nenad Nadimović. Je li imaš brojeve? Ima. Znači, izlačit ćete brojeve, po kom redu sledi ćete izlaziti na discipline. Po završetku discipline idete u sobu za odmor ili ostajete ovde, ostajete ovde, izvinjavam se, a ona dvojica koja čekaju da će na disciplinu bit će sa svojim razrednim starešinom koji zove Nevanja Papić u sobi za odmor. Kad dođe red na vac, bit ćete pozvani, završite discipline, ostajete da sedite u publici, jedan deo takmičenja ćete raditi svako za sebe, a jedan deo ćete raditi svi zajedno. Toliko mogu da vam kažem i to je to. Prvo je Ivan. Ivane, izvoli, izvuci. Prvi broj. To po godinama. I pokaži, molim te da se vidi koji broj. Broj dva. Ivan has number two. Ok. Vuk. Number three. Number three. And Ljuba is officially, obviously, number one. So you guys can leave the stage. Nemanja will be with you in the room for preparing. I will read each task to you and if you understand we can proceed with the task. If you don't understand something about the task, you will say that I will read the task to you again. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Can we start? Yes. Okay. Please may I have the time for the task number one on my mark. Task number one is beverage order. Custom, customers in the restaurant at the table number one okay. want to order something to drink. Your task is to take the order and serve them. For this task you have five minutes. Do you understand the task? Customers in the restaurant at the table one want to order something to drink. Your task is to take the order and serve them. Do you understand the task? Yes. Can we start? Okay, are we ready? Please, time. Okay. 
Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I heard that you would like something to start your uh, dinner with. Is there something I can offer you first? Some water or something that you would like? Or maybe some distillates, maybe some wine, something that, that you would like? Please, ladies, what would you like tonight? Uh, I would like to have a glass of champagne. Yes. What do you offer? Uh, we have a house champagne and we also have um, something uh, which is from Serbia, which is very nice. We serve this by the glass and I think it's uh, uh, something that I need also to check what we have here uh, available. But um, there is, there is uh, I believe, um, <coughs> um, two options, but I will check for you if there's okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, for you, madam? I would like a glass of champagne as well. Glass of champagne, okay. And I would like a beer, please. And beer. What kind of beer? Local or something a little bit different? I would like a beer. You make me an offer, whatever you offer. Okay. You. I'll be back in a minute. Sir, we have a Czech beer. It's called Bernard. Lovely. It's uh, okay, and we have Belgian champagne. Is that okay? Great. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Ladies, your champagne. Thank you. Madam. Thank you. Time. Time. 
And yeah. So this is the task number two, magnum bottle decanting. Customers at the table number two have ordered a magnum bottle of red wine for dinner. Your task is to present and serve magnum bottle of red wine that is placed on a wine station. Okay. For this ta task, you have six minutes. Okay. Do you understand the task? Can you read this? One for me, time. one more time, no yes, problem. please. So customers at the table two have ordered magnum bottle of red wine for dinner. Your task is to present and serve magnum bottle of red wine that is placed on the wine station. You have six minutes to do so. Okay. Do you understand the yes. task? Are you yes. ready? Yes, I'm ready. Time, please. Mm -hmm. Hello, good evening. Welcome to our restaurant. Madame, sir, I heard that you would like one red wine to be decanted for you to have it for your dinner. Uh, is that, oh, is that, sir? Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Let me just prepare this. Sir, this is Primitivo from Puglia. This is a very famous producer. I think that you will be very satisfied with, with this wine. Is that okay? Yes, thank okay. you. You're welcome. Now we are missing one more thing, and that's the wine, of course. Primitivo as a grape variety is very famous in the south of Italy. This is something that we lately discovered that it's also called the Zinfandel in America, that it's genetically the same grape variety. This is full-bodied wine with uh, red fruit aromas, a little bit spicy notes. It's uh, showing great characteristics of terroir from the south of Italy. May I present the cork to you, sir? There we go. Okay. Why we usually decant the wine? There are two reasons. Main reasons are to some old vintages to remove from the sediment and for the new wines to give it a little bit more aeration. 
Why we give aeration is to make wine a little bit more subtle and elegant, so that acidity can be sometimes a problem. And that's why decanting can actually solve a little bit of, uh, of problems with the young wine, that they are a little bit volatile, a little bit strong. So this wine can actually come down to to a certain, certain level of enjoyment. There we are. Sir, would you like to taste the wine? very lovely with the red meat, but also it can go with some pastas like bolognese, some a bit heavy creamy sauce, madame. Thank you. I'm sure that you will like this one. There we are, sir. Is there, is there anything else that you would like for me to do for you? Okay. I'll put, put the wine on the table. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Come. To je to. This is the number one number from the left side. Number one. This is the number two and this is the number three from the okay. left to the right. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Are we ready for the task number three? I am. Uh, the task is uh, new style tasting. Okay. You will have four flights. I will read the task for each flight separately. Okay. Uh, four flights, sorry? Four flights, four, four tasks in this one, and I will read it read ah, each one yes. separately. Mm -hmm. okay. First flight, in this flight of wines, you need to spot the odd odd one out and say reason or the reasons why. Okay. So I will read it again. In this flight of wines, you need to spot the odd one out and say reason or reasons why. You have one and a half minutes for this task. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Please time. The wine number one is uh, <coughs> Champagne. The other two are, I think, sex from Germany. So the wine number one is uh, wine that I'm putting out, yes. Yes? <coughs> okay, now we are ready for the flight. Second. Second. Yeah. Yes. In this flight of wines, all three wines are from same grape variety. Same grape variety. 
name the variety and say which wine is from the new world. Okay. So name the variety and say which wine is from the new world. Okay. You have one and a half minutes for this task. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Time, please. Okay. The wine number three is a different wine. This is a Chardonnay from California, and the other two are from a little bit cooler climate from Europe. So your answer is mm -hmm. which wine? Is wine number three, yes. Why number three is mm -hmm. from the new world. That's mm -hmm. your answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're ready for the flight number three. Next task is in these flights of wines, one of three wines is made from different grape variety. Say what variety is it and in which glass that wine is. Okay. You have one and a half minutes for this task. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Time. The wine number one is a Pinot Noir. It's a different wine from these two. Okay, your answer is wine number one. Wine number one, yes. We're ready for the final flight to this last. And the two others are? I think Merlot. Pinot Noir is a little bit colder if it is Pinot Noir. flight of wines you need to find the region that the wines come from. All wines are from the same region. Mm -hmm. So you need to find the region that the wines come from. Mm -hmm. You have one and a half minutes for this task. Are you ready? I'm ready. Time please.
time. This concludes the task number three. to be checked and corrected if needed. Okay. And you will have seven minutes to finish the task. Okay. So you will need to check and correct if needed a wine list that you will receive. Okay. Here is a wine My list. list I'm looking to. Or you can use the from screen, screen whatever is better for you. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready. Please time. Mm-hmm, okay. Two thousand four, the Y number two, two thousand four, Paul Roger is actually uh, Winston Churchill. It's a <coughs> vintage champagne. Uh, Wine number three, uh, 2007 Triumph Noir. It's not extra dry. It's actually a red wine. Not. Uh, wine number five, 2009 Montrachet. It's not Premier Cru. It's a uh, Polynesian Montrachet Village. Uh, wine number six, uh, Zweigel have a missing error, er, error of, uh, of writing. <coughs> wine number seven, uh, Contacto Alvarinho, it's not from Vino Verde, Vino Verde is in Portugal. The, and, uh, I, sorry, uh, Alvarinho is from Portugal, Vino Verde, but it's, uh, it's Portugal, it's not Spain. Um, Wine number nine, Clare Valley, it's not in New Zealand, it's actually Australia. Uh, wine number 10, Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, it's not from saint Emilion, it's Poyac. Wine number 11, Amarone della Vallopolicella, it's DOCG. My number 12 is okay. <coughs> uh, wine number 13, I think this, it's called Rubicus, so it's not Rubicus, it's Rubicus, it's a written error. My number 14, I think it's okay. My number 15, Alma Viva, it's uh, from Chile, it's not Argentina. Uh, my number 17, I don't think there is 2016 Triumph Leaf Harvest. It's uh, a, <coughs> at least they didn't uh, release this label. Uh, 
Wine number 18, it's, uh, it's not non-vintage, it's a vintage red wine. Uh, wine number 19, it's um, I think it's I think there is a missing a uh, spelling error with uh, putonyosh it's uh, written differently My number one, I do think there is a uh, non-vintage Ruinar Rosé. I think uh, wine number four, it's written Brut Reserva. <laughs> Uh, wine number 14, I think it's called the Dead Arms. It's meeting Essing, it's a written error, Shiraz. And uh, wine number 16, I don't think there is a region called Zagoria in Croatia. And it's, uh, I believe that's it. Are you finished? I'm finished, yes. Okay, thank you. Right, well. okay. 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 S obzirom da ste prošle godine šaputali kao publika, to je smislili ste da znate više o takmičara, slobodno izađete na scenu. Tako da zato smo ukinuli na skrinu da imate vinsku vismu. Znači kad budete dobri, onda ćemo pustiti pomoći. Idemo izvinci. Imaš vode? Ima, ima. Dobre. Yes, please. Task number five is wine offer. You are going to be a sommelier on a private dinner. Your guests got an offer from a wine merchant. Before they buy the wine, they are seeking your advice for each wine. They would also like you to, uh, uh, they would also like if you could give a food recommendation and the order of service. You want me to repeat your task? Yes. So, your guests got an offer from a wine merchant. Before they buy the wine, they are seeking your advice for each wine. They would also like if you could give a food recommendation and the order of service. Okay. You have five minutes to finish this task. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Time, please. The, uh, Table. Stop, 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 stop. Sorry. What? He needs the list, okay. I I'm first, so maybe, yeah, get in the motion. Sorry, here is the okay. <coughs> we can start now? Yes. yes. Thank you. Are you Time. ready? Okay. Hello, good evening, madam, sir. Welcome to our restaurant. I heard you have a very good offer from our supplier, so I will give you some explanation and maybe some food that you would like to have in the future with this wine. Moet Chandon Imperial Brut, non-vintage, it's very famous around the world as a specific style. Uh, it has a touch of sweetness and it has a very nice white label. Sometimes in some cocktails we are uh, serving this in a big glasses with some ice. Uh, this is um, um, something that also 
It can go very well with uh, any 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 type of chicken without any heavy sauces, just a regular uh, chicken on every day, or some seafood that you would like, something from maybe scallops or something maybe maybe like a, like a, um, a lobster. Lerum de la Grange Bordeaux is a um, wine that actually uh, can. Uh, I will skip this wine. Uh, Chateau de Quem is a very famous wine, one of the most famous sweet wines in the world. It's uh, made in, uh, when you say Sauternes, you think as the best as Chateau de Quem. It is a wine that actually have a very long history. It's a blend of uh, Semillon and Sauvignon Blanc. And uh, uh, I think you have very good price here. The supplier is giving you a very good price with this wine. Uh, it can go with any dessert from creme brulee to the white chocolate desserts or uh, something maybe a little uh, heavier like uh, chocolate and the fruits. Uh, this is a um, wine that can also age very well, so it's very famous by aging. And I think this wine, as more you keep it in the cellar, it will become better. Some examples are having 50 years old uh, from the starting point from the vintage in the cellar and uh, everybody saying that they are better and better by every day. Albarino Paco and Lola Rias Baixas is a very light wine. This is a, uh, from north of Spain region that is very close to the sea. So it's usually made in surli method, which means that it have a little bit uh, yeasts that uh, uh, have developed a special aromatic uh, uh, structure. And uh, this is something that can very easily go with any type of fish, even a little bit smoked fish. But I would suggest, for example, a trout with a little bit uh, sauce made from the garlic and the herbs. Riserva di Fizzano, Chianti Classico Gran Selezione, is a very famous wine from Italy, from Tos Toscana region. This is a <coughs> wine that can go very well on any, 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 any nice, uh, let's say, weekend occasions that you would like to drink something not so demanding, but something a little bit uh, uh, medium bodied, something a little bit um, uh, uh, structured in a specific way that actually is giving a great essence of terroir from Tuscany. It is um, uh, still a bit maybe young wine, so it can sell it for a few more years. I would suggest this to five to the seven years if you like at its best. And it can go very well with uh, a wheel made with, uh, actually when you put a little bit uh, mint jelly on the side, I think it, this, uh, this combination of uh, sp a little bit uh, spicy note and, uh, and the fresh, fresh wheel can go very well together with this wine. Musigny Domaine de la Romaine Conte is a very nice Pinot Noir. A uh, very famous style, very, very, very uh, elegant. Uh, something that is, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, very prized and uh, not very easily to find on the market. This is a wine that is actual, a excellent example of terroir from the Burgundy that is um, something that can age for, this is 2009, but I think this is still young, so it can age probably 10 more years. This is, uh, a wine that uh, probably you would like with, uh, if you like your steak, uh, made rare, a little bit, let's call it bloody. And um, Grange Bean 95 Penfolds, South Australia 2010, is a um, very famous Shiraz that is um, um, from a famous producer, uh, very, very famous in the world, very, very also very, very something. Okay. Okay, we proceed to the final task, task number six. Are you ready to hear the task? Task number six is beverage identification. In front of you, there are eight alcoholic beverages. Your task is to connect the glasses 
two given labels on the paper in front of you, which you will receive. Okay. Yeah. That's it, that's it. I will repeat the task, yes. You have uh, eight alcoholic beverage beverages in front of you. Your task is to connect the glasses to given labels you have on the paper in front of you. You have four minutes to complete this task. Okay, four minutes. Are you ready? I'm ready. We can start? Yes. Pencil. Time, please. Destillate number one is Martel Cornel Blue. Destillate number two is Stara Sokolova Kaisia. Destillate number three is Ivan Grozny Vodka. Destillate number four is Zarić Viljamovka Nirvana. Destillate number five is Glen Fiddich 18 Single Malt. Destillate number six is Campari. Uh, Destillate number seven is Gorda Šljuvica. And Destillate number eight is Bull Bullet Rye. Thank you. Good. Ljubo, možeš da se pridružiš publici. Dobro. Iskoristit ću ovu pauzu da dodelim jedan, to jest Đorđe će dodeliti. Đorđe je zove teške posle. Gdje je Milan? Milan Tanjga, bio je tu danas. Aha, bio je tu danas. Milanče, ovo smo zadali Bollingerom i pre tebe, čisto da znaš. Ovo je Azije diploma, koja po redu za Srbiju? Sedma. Sedma diploma za Srbiju. Samo da vidimo... Imaš dodatno pitanje, Milanče? Imaš dodatno pitanje, samo da vidimo... Ima viška. Inače, Srbija je jedna od rekih zemalja koja od 2012. organizuje polaganje ispita za međunarodnu sommelier diplomu i svake godine imamo minimum po jednom do dvoje kandidata iz Srbije koji pokažu da njihovo znanje i veštine je identično kao i veštine i znanje svih ostalih sommelier u svetu, pošto se ispit za međunarodnu diplomu polaže istog dana u isto vreme u svim zemljama sveta. Svi su meni rade iste testove, iste radne zadatke i finalno ista komisija pregleda sve radove iz sveta. 
I zaista smo ponosni što je Milan Tanga iz Udruženja Somelija Šumadije, čovek koji je ove godine, znači u 2017. godini, poneo srebrnu Aziju diplomu. Tako da, Milan, čestitam. Hvala. Ovo je diploma za Milana, a tu je i srebrna značka. Ja ću da ti je zakačim odma. Pošto imaš i Udruženje Somelijera Srbije i Udruženje Somelijera Šumadije, tamo da dobiješ i ovo međunarodno obeležje, gde god da odeš po svetu, svi će te prepoznati kao čoveka... Zato mi gde šta stoji kojim redom. Kao čoveka koji zna šta radi. Evo, ovako između Serse i Šumadije. Hvala. Kesuć možeš da poneseš, ovdje ti sertifikat da se radi o srebrnoj znački, nema vezanja, nema prevere. Izvoli, možeš da se radiš na svoje mjesto. Our next competitor is Ivan Nikolić. Ivane. So Ivan, I will guide you and introduce you with every uh, of your tasks. You will have six tasks. I will read each task separately for you. If you don't understand something, please tell me and I will read it again for you. Okay. okay? The official language, of course, is English. Are you ready to start? Sorry, yes, I'm ready. Sir. Task number one, beverage order. Customers in the restaurant at the table number one want to order something to drink. Your task is to take the order and serve them. So your task is to take the order and serve them. Do you understand the task? Uh, can you repeat me one more time, please? Customers in the restaurant at the table number one want to order something to drink. Your task is to take the order and serve them. Okay. You have five minutes to finish the task. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, time please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ivan. I'm going to be your sommelier for tonight. May I offer you something for drink? Some appetizer to drink or something like that? Yes, I would like to have a glass of champagne. What do you offer? We have a very nice uh, uh, champagne by the glass. I think that the house champagne is Bollinger Special Cuvée. Mm -hmm. I can serve you if you are interested with that. Yeah? Yes. Okay, may I proceed with your order? Just for you, madam, or maybe I would like. Yes. Of well. Also, yes, sir, for you? I want a beer, please. A beer? Perfect, sir. I have a really Would nice lager from uh, Czech Republic. It's um, the, the dark beer. Very nice, happy to drink, uh, but fairly can go with even with your food. Right. May I proceed? Thank you very much. Okay, this is the Bollinger special coin that I recommend. This is a really amazing glass of champagne that I'm going to serve you. 
ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my recommendation to serve you a small, who want to taste the champagne? I would. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna send from the chef a small parmesan blini with a little bit of caviar just to chase your lovely champagne. And then, then we can proceed with your menu, what to see, to have for your main course. Certainly, maybe you're not gonna stick with your champagne and everything, but still, even for the, the main course, it's gonna be a lovely selection. Okay. Answer for you. The beer. Oh, I don't have. Psst, psst. No. Okay, sacrifice the first one to leave the little bit. And this is a really, really nice dark lager. So for you, it go really well with the dark meat for the main course. And you can also change in your Thank combination you. for your main clean dish. Okay. Now we continue with the task number two. Okay. Are we ready? Of course. Thank you. So kind. So task number two is a magnum bottle decanting. Okay. Customers at the table number two have ordered magnum bottle of red wine for dinner. Your task is to present and serve magnum bottle of red wine that is placed on a wine station. Okay. Do you do understand the I task? I would like to hear one more time if it's Okay, possible. so customers at the table number two have ordered magnum bottle of red wine for dinner. Your task is to present and serve magnum bottle of red wine that is placed on a wine station. You have six minutes to complete this task. Okay, so Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so need a glass of water to refresh your vocabulary. Ready? Thank you, yes. Time. Okay. Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ivan. I'm going to be your sommelier and open your bottle and decanting for you. This is a really nice Primitivo from Puglia region in Italy. Very nice, may I open for you? Thank you very much.
kindly ask who gonna taste the wine. Okay, sir, this is a cork for inspection, please. Okay, this is a really nice medium body wine from the Italy, the south of the Italy. I would like to recommend some really nice meat with this, uh, maybe more baked than, than, than grilled. I suggest maybe to go with a slowly, um, slowly cooked pork belly with uh, really nice spices and herbs inside. All in oven, really long time cooked. Then with just a little bit of uh, mashed potato on the, on the plate and uh, just a, maybe some small reduction red wine uh, sauce with reduction with the pour just to enchase a little bit of sweetness because we have a little bit of the sweetness of the wine. I'm gonna leave a little bit because of the sediment on the end, so. Okay. Perfect. May I serve you, sir? And of course, if you are here, you are for sure need to try our local local plum brandy. If you are first time in Serbia, I would suggest like a digestive to have really nice age, oak age, uh, Šljivovica, 10 years old, that is gonna really, really give you some roundness for the end of the, this dinner and have um, put you in heaven, like, like say like that. <laughs> okay, have a nice evening, I wish you all the best. Thank you. So this is a task number three, Ivan, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we need you for this task. Task number three is a new style tasting. You will have uh, four flights in front of you. I will read each task for each flight separately. Okay? okay. So this is a task for the flight number one. In this flight of wines, you need to spot the odd one out and say reason or reasons why. Okay. So you need to spot the odd one out and say the reason or reasons why. You have one and a half minutes to finish the job. Okay. Are you ready? May I just ask kindly to have a spitter because I'm not drinking here. Ah, okay. okay. Sorry. Honest mistake. I would drink it, but okay, if you have to spit it. Are you ready? Uh, can you just one more time? Of course. In this flight of wines, you need to spot the odd one out and say reason or reasons why. Okay. Are you ready? You have a minute and a half. Please, time. Okay, 
The wine number three, I think that is the different become, uh, because is the made with a Charmat method, not the traditional one. The first and the second wine, I think that have a traditional method of where making a sparkling wine. The third one is made with a uh, uh, Charmat method. I think that is some Prosecco from Italy and uh, the two of them are traditional method. Not for sure the champagne, but still I feel in one and two some uh, more yeast, some bread and toasty notes that indicate me to have the, um, the, the traditional method inside of the production. Also with the body and the structure of the, um, and the bubbles are a little bit you know, heavier and... Ready? In this flight of wines, all three wines are from same grape variety. Same grape variety. Name the variety and say which wine is from the new world. Okay. So all three wines are from the same grape variety. Name the variety and say which wine is from the new world. One and a half minutes. Are you ready? Time. I think that the grape variety is Sonia Blanc, and I think that the wine number two is from um, New World. We are ready for the flight number three. Your task is, in the flight of wines, one of three wines is made from different grape variety. Say what variety is it and in which glass that wine is. Okay. So one of three is made from different grape variety. Say what variety is it and which glass the wine is in. Okay, okay you have one and a half minute. Ready? Yes. Time. I think that the, the wine number one is different, and I think that wine number one is the Pinot. Pinot Noir, of course. Okay, thank you. And the flight number four. What about two others? Uh, yeah, it was at the desk. I think that uh, you have a little bit more jammy style. I think that some easier Merlot or maybe.
This is the final flight in task number three. In this flight of wines, you need to find the region that the wines come from. All wines are from the same region. So you need to find the region that the wines come from. They're all from the same region. Just you have the region. just the region. You have one and a half minute. Ready? Time, please. Okay, I think that the wines are coming from um, Lower Valley. Lower Valley. Lower Valley. That concludes task number three. Thank you. Applause, And now we will continue with the task number four, wine list correction. You will be given a wine list that sh uh, needs to be checked and corrected if needed. You have seven minutes to do the task. Seven Are you ready? Yes. So you need to check the wine list and correct it if needed. Okay. You ready? Yes. Time, please. Okay, wine number one. No meters. Renat Rosé Brut is not from Bordeaux. It's from Champagne, France. Paul Roger Brut, Champagne, France, uh, 2004. I think that uh, Paul Roger didn't produce the uh, vintage 2004. 2007 Triumph Noir Extra Sauv. Uh, okay, the Triumph Noir first of all didn't um, made the wine from 2007. It's 2009. It's uh, extra brut, not extra su. Winery Alexandrovic, Rumadia, Serbia. Uh, non vintage di Bon Cava, brut reserve, Pene de Spain. Mm, I think that this one is correctly written. Wine number five, Moutrache, Premier Cru, Olivier Lefle, uh, Lefle, Burgundy, France. Okay, when we put the Premier Cru on the label, we need to put in the wine list, we need to put even the, the winer that is coming from. Uh, Montrachet, Premier Cru, okay, Le Champ Gam, Poligny Montrachet. It's the, 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 the winer that we can put on the, on the label. Netzel, Zweigalt, Heidecker, Franz and Christian Netzel, Caruntum, Austria. I'm going to leave it his correct contacto Alvarino, Almezo Mendes, Vino Verde, Spain. Okay, here we didn't. Contacto Alvarino, Mendes. I'm not sure for this one, I'm going to leave it for a little bit later. Sofia Tamjanica Bracia Rajkovic is not from Tri Morave, is from, uh, no, it's, it, it is from Tri Morave, Serbia, but it's from Župa sub region. And I think that in the label need to write it down Župa, the wine region, not the region in the, in total. Riesling, Polish Hill, Grosset, Clare Valley, New Zealand. Clare Valley is not from the New Zealand, is from Austria, Australia. Uh, Okay, we can put some Martin Brew, for example, not uh, the Clare Valley. 1989, Chateau Lafitte, uh, Rothschild, Premier Cru Classé, San Emilion, is not from San Emilion, it's Pompoliac, the Premier Grand Cru Classé, the one of the best wine in the world. 2010, Amarone della Valpolicella, Classico, Dimensione di origine controllata e garantita, non è DOC, è DOCG, Costa Sera, Masi, Veneto, Italy. 
2008, Unico Vega Sicilia, Ribera del Duero, Spain. This one is correct, 2008 exists. Unico Vega Sicilia, it's all written down, okay. Icona, I Icon, 2011, Icon Campana Rubinus, uh, 2011, did it produce from, um, from Zvonko Bogdan, the first label that they put it outside is 2013. Uh, 2008, Dedarm, Shiraz, Darenberg, McLaren Valley, Australia. Mm, I'm not sure this is the, 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 the. Darenberg, McLaren Valley, Australia. I'm gonna write it down a little bit later. Alma Viva, Rochil Concettoro, Maipo Valley. Mm, Maipo Valley is not from Argentina, it's from Chile. Okay, Kuve 2008, Bodrum, Berba, Zagorje, Croatia. I'm gonna leave it a little bit later. 2016, Triumph, Late Harvest, Vainer Alexandrovich, Shumadia. Triumph, Late Harvest is, uh, didn't produce the f uh, 2016. The first label, if I remember very well, was 2012. Uh, that uh, is not on, on the market yet, 2016. Um, non vintage Malamado, Malbec, Familia Zuccardini, Argentina. I think that's here. Familia Zuccardini is not the producer of this wine. I'm not sure what is the producer. To 1989, Tokai, uh, Tokaisi, Shei Chateau Vinicku, Hungary. I think that the 1989 wasn't the six that the vintage. We can put some different one that is 2005, for example. What I said, the Dan Shirak, Darby McLaren Valley, I think. No, I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm not sure for the rest of the, the lines, and I'm not, I don't want to correct them. Okay, we continue with the task number five okay. wine offer. You're going to be a sommelier on a private dinner. Your guests got an offer from a wine merchant. Before they buy the wine, they are seeking your advice for each wine. They would also like if you could give a food recommendation and the order of service. Shall I repeat the task? Thank you very much. So your guests uh, got an offer from a wine merchant. Uh, before they buy the wine, they are seeking your advice uh, for each wine. They would also like if you could give a food recommendation and the order of service. Okay. You have five minutes to complete this task. Okay. So okay. this is the okay. offer, wine offer. Are you ready? Yes. Time, please. Moet Chandon, Imperial Brut. Okay, this is one of the most famous um, champagne of the world, one of the most selling champagne of the world. My really fully recommendation to take it because the Moet Chandon is vending by, 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 just by himself. You don't need to offer too much. This is the really nice, crispy, elegant uh, champagne for the start. My advice is to start with uh, some really nice starter. Okay, oysters always complement really good the champagne. In this case, I would like to complement a little bit more the food to, to serve with the oysters Rockefeller with a little bit of butter and uh, bechamel sauce on the top, uh, with a little bit of parsley just to enchase the, 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 the wine. Uh, my recommendation is to serve this wine to five to seven degrees Celsius in um, slightly l larger glass than the flute just to enchase a little bit that um, Nice aromas that gonna, we're gonna get from the champagne. Les Arums de la Grange, Bordeaux 2013. Wow, amazing. Uh, Bordeaux, uh, crispy, elegant, uh, starter, white wine. My recommendation to, to, to take it because it's um, the one of the small locality in the zone of the red production. A small percent of the, the, the you have the excuse to, to sell that wine because it's really rare to have it and um, I think that a good recommendation is to start with a, little, a slightly salad with a little bit of uh, salmon gravelax on the top to have a little bit of salty because we have a nice acid inside of this Lazarum de la Grange and it's gonna be match perfect. Maybe a little bit of horseradish cream to 
balance the, the plate and I would like to serve the in a classic Blanc glass that is a little bit wider but still that it's um, uh, small on the, on, the, on the beginning just to bring the acid on the center of that our tongue just to then have it acid all around our mouth and I would like to serve this one on the seven to nine degrees just to have a little bit fresh wine but still in our glass gonna arrive perfectly in the right temperature. Chateau de Cam, so 10, 2012, okay I need to tell that 2012 don't exist, you know you cannot buy it, you, you can have it 2010, 2011. My advice to take 2001 because it's one of the biggest vintages of Saturn that you're gonna have and of course what have with with the Saturn then um, pan fried foie gras just a little bit chutney on with uh, the orange on the side and a little bit of gingerbread to have a little bit sweet on the plate but still a really nice acid in the Sauternes and Chateau de Chem is one of the best Sauternes in the world you're gonna have uh, poetry in your mouth Albarino Pacuelora is 2016. Again, some really nice, um, fresh wine, crispy, good acid inside. Again, you need to have some wine from the Spain, a pretty wine that you're gonna sell for the with your clients. My advice is to to have again something lighter before we are starting to to, to have a little bit heavier food at the end. And um, I think that here we can go with some really nice experimented uh, Tatar steak, just slightly, slightly um, uh, with uh, spices and uh, salty and uh, pepper, just to, to, to have a little bit of brioche toast on the side to clean that acid that we're gonna have, the acid gonna break the Tatar. And I think that it's a little bit risky, but I think it's gonna go really, really well with the um, Albarino Pacuellola. Riserva, uh, Riserva di Fizzano, Rocchi della Macia, Chiante Classico, Gran Selezione. What to, what to say about the Gran Selezione? The, the new, the latest um, appellation that they invented with Professor Palanti from Castello di Ama and um, 30 years uh, aging potential. This is a perfect wine. We can start with some really local Toscan Toscan meat. My, my advice is to, to have a spezzatino uh, with, uh, from Vitello. This is the all a lot of herbs uh, cooked inside with uh, 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 chunked uh, pieces of Vitello inside the padella, inside of the, <laughs> sorry, my Italian. Then uh, um, the, 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 the Chianti and the earthy uh, taste from the Chianti gonna go well with these spices and with the meat, with the vitello, with all the sauce all together. It's gonna be amazing combination. Musigny Domaine de la Romane Conti. Okay, I need to correct that Musigny didn't produce the Domaine de la Romane Conti, but still, uh, from Domaine de la Romane Conti, whatever you buy, you. Bye. Task number six, beverage identification. In front of you, you have uh, eight alcoholic beverages. Your task is to connect glasses to given labels on the paper in front of you that you will receive right now. So these are the labels. Your task is to connect the glasses with the given labels. Do you understand the task? Yes, so you have in front of you eight alcoholic beverages. Your task is to connect the glasses to given labels on the paper in front of you. Okay. Connect the glasses with the labels. Okay. You have four minutes for this task. May I ask one more time for the spitter, please? Spitter, of course. Thank you. Four minutes for this task. Are you ready? Just to take the glass. Of course. Yes, I'm ready. Time, please.
if I'm not if I'm not mistaking, the Gordoshlyovica is number seven. The Stara Sokolova Kaisia is from uh, for number two. Zaric Viljamovka Nirvana is number four. Martel Cordon Bleu is number five. Ivan Grozi Vodka is number three. Campari is in glass number six. Glenfiddich 18 in single malt is in glass number one. And Bullet Rye is in glass number eight. Please repeat. Is that it? Yeah. You got it? Just give them the paper. Okay, this is the. Thank you. That concludes the first part of your final. For tonight, you can join your colleagues in the audience, and we will prepare ourselves for the third finalist, the final finalist. The third uh, finalist is, as you all know, Vuk Vuletic, Vuce. So I will guide you and introduce you with every of your tasks. You have six tasks. I will read each <coughs> task for you separately. <coughs> if you don't understand anything, uh, something about the task, please say it and I will repeat the task to you again. The official language is of course English. Right. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. We will start with the first task, beverage order. Customers in the restaurant at the table number one want to order something to drink. Your task is to take the order and serve them. So customers want to order something to drink. Your task is to take the order and serve them. You have five minutes to complete this task. Did you understand the task? Could you repeat one more time? Of course. Customers in the restaurant at the table one want to order something to drink. Your task is to take the order and serve them. Did you understand the task? Take the order and serve them. Five minutes. Five minutes for, to complete the task. Are you ready? Yes. Time, please. Hello, good evening. My name is Vuk and I will be your sommelier tonight. I understand that you got uh, the menus and may offer you something to drink, perhaps. I would like to have a glass of champagne. What do you offer? We have tonight, we have special, special Bollinger, special Cuvée, non-vintage champagne. It's excellent aperitif, excellent start and introduction to the meal. For uh, other people, would you like also to have a glass of champagne? I'd like or? to have a glass of champagne as well. All right. Monsieur? And I like a beer. What do you recommend? A beer? We have very good Czech beer from Bohemia region. It's a dark lager. It's, would you like to have a glass? We're very lucky because we will now open the bottle of champagne for two glasses. And the champagne, it's from time to time, when it's open too long, it loses the bubbles. But we're the fortunate ones, so we'll open your bottle for you. This is extraordinary champagne from Bollinger House. With this, I would like to recommend you to go with something, something strong, because this is very reductive champagne, very good. I will just taste it. Excellent. Would you please like to try it? I'll just pour a little bit to see if it's up to your liking. With this dish, I would like to recommend you torsion of foie gras with pineapple chutney. It's brioche bread on the side as well. Is it good? And your beer, beer will be here in a moment, sir.
Here it is, sir. It's Bernard beer. Thank you. Small brewery founded in 1991. Very good caramel aromas, coffee. With this dish, uh, for the ladies, we'll serve foie gras. And for you, sir, we will go with a little bit of cheddar cheese just to start with. And then later for the main course, when we choose the wine, we'll agree on the, on the choice of the food. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you happy with your food recommendations or okay. shall we change something? Thank you. All right. Enjoy your drinks. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. So we are proceeding on to the task number two. Magnum bottle decanting. Yes. You ready to hear the task? Of course. Customers at the table number two have ordered Magnum bottle of red wine for dinner. Your task is to present and serve Magnum bottle of red wine that is placed on one uh, wine station. You want me to repeat? Yes, the task. Please, one more time. So, one customers time. at the table number two have ordered Magnum bottle of red wine for dinner. Your task is to present and serve Magnum bottle of red wine that is placed on the sta wine station. You have six minutes to complete this task. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Time, please. Hello, good evening. My name is Vuk and I will be your sommelier. Please, uh, I order a bottle of wine, Magnum bottle. We have Primitivo from Puglia, Monteverde from 2014. Is that all right for you? Who will try the wine? All right. Sir, Monteverde Primitivo, 2014, vintage, 15% in alcohol. Very strong, but well balanced. Store it. I believe this wine has no sediment, but we light the candle to see if possibly there is some to leave it in a bottle and it doesn't touch your, doesn't finish up in your glass. Which really we would like to happen. Cork is in good condition. May I just taste the wine? Oh. 
wonderful, very fruity. Touch of oak, used. This wine comes from Puglia, from South Italian region, which produce a lot, a lot of wine, really. Huge quantities of wine, they're on second place in Italy. And Primitivo is their indigenous grape variety, which is also linked with, uh, with uh, tribute drug in Croatia and uh, with uh, Zinfandel in USA. Very fruity grape variety, very light bodied, not, not I mean medium bodied, but not too much tannins, but it can uh, gather so much sugar in it. So eventually it finishes up with 15% of alcohol and still it has a little bit of residual sugar left in the bottle, but it's dry. There is just a little bit of sediment in it. That probably the wine was not filtrated, which is good. Here is the cork for inspection, sir. Let's please try the wine. Good. May I remove the cork, sir, or want to keep it for a collection? You leave it open up a little bit in the counter to enhance the flavors. And with this dish, I would like to recommend you a course uh, which contains lamb shank, which goes very good with fruitiness and a little a little bit of uh, power, power wildness of this wine, and with lamb shank, a little bit of polenta and uh, red wine reducted sauce with it. Is it all right for you? All right, see where you have the water. A little bit more water for you. Thank you. We are a new restaurant, so we are very small but we try to enhance our darkness experience by the service. Now we continue with the task number three for our third finalist, Vuk Vuletic. Task number three, new style tasting. You, have, have a, you will have four flights and I will read you each task for every flight separately. Okay? Please stand over there. So this is a glass number one, two, three. Are you ready? In this flight of wines, you need to spot the odd one out and say reason or reasons why. So you need to spot the odd one out and say reason or reasons why. You have one and a half minutes for the task. Are you ready? Yes. Time, please. So all three wines are white, they are sparkling wines, uh, but the wine number one and the wine number two are made with traditional method. So aging, second fermentation happens in the bottle. And the wine number three is done by Charmat or Martinotti method. That means that second fermentation occurs in a large tank and then later it's, it goes in the, in the bottles. 
I, I suspect that the wine number one and the wine number two are made in Champagne in France and the wine number three should be Prosecco from Italy, from Veneto region. Uh, so the number three is the old one because of the method of production. You ready? Yes. In uh, this flight of wines, all three wines are from same grape variety. Name the variety and say which wine is from the new world. So name the variety and say which wine is from the new world. All three wines are from same grape variety. Same time? One and a half minute? Yes, yeah, same time. One and a half minute. Are you ready? Yes. Time. So the grape variety is Riesling, and then the one from the New World is number three. Okay, we're ready for this task. In this flight of wines, one of three wines is made from different grape variety. Say what variety is it and in which glass the wine is. So, one of three wines is made, is made from different grape variety. Say what variety is it and which glass the wine is. You have one and a half minutes for the task. Time. So the wine number one is Pinot Noir, that is the, the glass, the variety that is different than the two other two. Other two are Cabernet Sauvignon. Thank you. In this of wines, you need to find the region that the wines come from. All wines are from the same region. So you need to find the region 
where the wines come from. You have one and a half minutes. Ready? Yes. Time, please. Only because of the first wine, uh, I would uh, decide to go with uh, Sancerre region in France. And the first one to be Sauvignon Blanc from Oak, and the second two to be from Pinot Noir. Thank you. So the task number four, wine list correction. You will be handed a wine list that you need to check and correct if needed. You will have seven minutes for this task. Yes. Do you understand the task? Can you just repeat it one more time? So you will be handed a wine list by, by our lovely Miss Katic, and you need to check that list and correct it if needed. Yes. Seven minutes for this task. Are you ready? Time? So. So the wine number two. Non-vintage Ruinat Rosé, Brut, Bordeaux, France. It doesn't come from Bordeaux. It is the oldest champagne house in France, in Champagne region, obviously, founded in 1729. Wine number two, 2004, Paul Roger, Brut, Champagne in France. Uh, first of all, it's not, this uh, has two mistakes, because first of all, uh, it's, it's non-vintage champagne, because Paul Roger produced Sir Winston Churchill, which is a, their vintage champagne. And so it's non-vintage, it's not 2004. And uh, it's written Paul without E on the end. So it's only three letters in the name. And yeah, Brut, Champagne France, that's all right. Wine number three, 2007 Triumph Noir. Uh, they didn't make it in 2007. The first attempt was with Chardonnay, and I believe the first vintage of Triumph Noir was 2009. So it's impossible to, t to be 2007. Wine number four, non-vintage de Bon Cava, Brut Reserve, Penedès, Spain. This is uh, reserve is uh, unnecessary. It's uh, Brut. Brutin style, that means it has up to 12 grams of sugar, so reserve is not, is not, should not be here, it should be in the name of the wine, if it's the Bon Cava reserve, which would indicate that the wine was aged uh, six months longer on the, le on the lease, 15 months instead of nine. Wine number five. In 2009, Montrachet, Premier Cru, Olivier Lefle, Bourgogne de France. Uh, Montrachet is the Grand Cru, not Premier Cru. By number six, 2013, Netzel Zweigalt Heidecker. This has also a couple of mistakes. Uh, uh, first of all, it's uh, the, the, wine, the name of the winery is Netzel, without E again, which is written afterwards in France and Christian Netzel. And uh, Zweigelt is misspelled because instead of A, it's uh, E. Zweigelt, which uh, derived from Saint Laurent and Blau Frankish by Dr. Zweigelt. Heidecker is all right. Carnuntum region in Austria, I believe. 
I believe that is, that is correct. Vine number seven. Uh, vine number seven, 2012, Contacto Alvarinho, Alcemo Mendes, Vino Verde, Spain. Uh, Vino Verde is, uh, is the region that is located on the north of Portugal, so it's, uh, the country is wrong, it's not Spain, instead of Spain it should be written Portugal, and it's uh, the vein of the winery, it's not Alcelmo Mendes, it's Anselmo with N instead of L, I believe. Vine number eight. By number eight, 2012, Sofia Tamjanica, Braccia Rajkovic, Trimorove, Serbia. Uh, yes, I believe that this one has no mistake. It's located in Trimorove region, it's all right. By number, excellent Tamjanica, by number nine, 2013, Riesling, Polish Hill, Rosa Clairvalle, New Zealand. Uh, actually, Polish Hill is located in Australia, not in New Zealand. And uh, yeah, Riesling, Rosa, I would Stay, we'll stay with that. Uh, one number 10, 89, Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, Premier Cruc Alsace and Emilion Bird of France. Uh, Chateau Lafitte Rothschild is one of, uh, one of the five Premier Grand Cruc classes in uh, Medoc, which is on the left bank, not on the right bank, where Saint Emilion is. So instead of Saint Emilion, it should be written uh, Omedoc or Puyak, because it's located on the, on the north of Puyak, bordering, uh, bordering with. Uh, with um, okay, burn it's on the north north of the Poyak. Bordeaux, And so it should be written Premier Grand Cru Classe. It's a missing gram. 2010 Amarone de Laval Policella, Classico de Ozeco Stasera Massi, Veneto, Italy. Amarone de Laval Policella, Classico is DOCG, it's not DOC. By number 12. Unico Vega Sicilia, Ribera del Duero, Spain, 2008. It's existing vintage. Everything is all right with this one. One in number 13. Icon Campana Rubimus, Cambrian Fran and Merlot. That is, everything is all right, but the wine was not produced in 2011. They started with the production in 2013. That is the first vintage of the wine. Excellent, excellent. One of the best Serbian red wines. One number 14. The Dead Arm Shiraz, Darenberg, McLaren Valley. Australia, it's missing one L in Valley. It's in one Epsilon. So missing two letters in the McLaren Valley. Darenberg is producer, everything is all right. 2007, it's located in Australia. Tuta, uh, McLaren is in South Australia. Vine number 15, Alma, Liv, Alma Viva, 2007. Rothschild, Conche Toro, Maipo Valley, Argentina. Uh, I believe the mistake is uh, in the region. Uh, no, uh, it's Argentina, obviously. It's not Argentina, it's made in Chile with joint venture of Rothschild and uh, Conchitoro. Vine number 16, uh, Cuve 2008, Bodrum is Bernabé, Bazagore, Croatia. Could be, could be right. <laughs> Bodrum produces only, only sweet wines. We good producer from Croatia. 2016, Triumph Late Harvest, Viner Aleksandrovic, Shumadia, Serbia. 2016 is not yet released, it's not on the market. I'm not sure if they made it. If made, it's not on the market, so it's impossible to be in the wine list. Wine number 18, Malamado Malbec, Familia Zuccardini, Argentina. I believe this wine, non-vintage, I believe this wine is not sweet or fortified, and it not, sh should not be here with, with the others. Wine number 19, 1989, Tokai, Tokajski 6 Putoni, Chateau Vinicki, Hungary. It's misspelled Putoni, it's written P-U-T-T-O-N-Y, Chateau Vinicki. I didn't, I didn't hear of it, first time I see this producer, could be. Uh, six po and Tokajski, it not, should not be written Tokajski, only Tokai with E instead of e S K I. Uh, Bravo Vuce. We are now continuing with uh, task number five, wine offer. You're going to be a sommelier on a private dinner. Your guests got an offer from a wine merchant. Before they buy the wine, they are seeking your advice for each wine. They would also like if you could give a food recommendation and the order of service. So shall I repeat the task? Yes, but and uh, just tell me if this is the table, this or this there is a one table. One. So. Table number one, they are 
get, they have been given an offer from a wine merchant. Before they are buying the wine, they are seeking your advice for each wine. They would also like if you could give a food recommendation and the order of service. You have five minutes to complete this task. All right. Are you ready? Yes. This is the offer list. All right. Time. Hello, good evening. I will um, book and I will be of your assistance to you in the cho choice of the wines and we'll see to pair it with some dishes and to make the order in which the wine should be uh, served, of course, in, in the evening. So just please give me a couple of seconds to, to see the, the wine list that you got offered. Right. So I will start with the with the starting of uh, the order that we should serve the wines. Of course, we should start with Moya Chandon, Imperial Brut, non-vintage. And uh, we can start with a uh, little bit of Salmon Gravelax with just a touch of creme fraiche on the top. Just small amuse bouche for a dinner, nothing too much. And then afterwards, we shall continue with Albarino, Paco and Lola, Riesch 2016. Very good, fresh wine, uh, no OA caging at all, zesty, mineral, good acidity. We should pair it also, we can pair it with a little bit of oysters. It's a good match. Some oysters, I would say oysters Rockefeller, to add a little bit of creaminess for this acidity to cut. So this is like opposite pairing making. Then afterwards, uh, we can go to Les Arums de Lagrange from Bordeaux, 2013. Excellent, excellent uh, Sauvignon blend based blend from Bordeaux, aged in oak barrel. So this one needs a dish that is a little bit powerful in structure, more than the previous two. So with this course, I would like to serve, I would like to serve you a little bit of foie gras. I would like to, but not in a tochon like, like previously. I would like now to, to go with a grilled foie gras with port reduction on the, on the top. That's my very good pairing with uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Afterwards, after that, we can go with uh, Zweigelt first. Zweigelt ice wine. Oh, sorry, it's ice wine. My mistake. We will go with uh, Chianti from Reserva di Fizzano, Rocca del Macchia, Chianti Classico Gran Selezione from 2013. Uh, very good Sangiovese, one of my favorite grape varieties, and we will pair it with uh, just a couple of slices of uh, Bistecca Fiorentina, just two, two slices uh, per person, and we will serve on the side just li a little bit of saffron scented uh, vegetable ratatouille. After that, coming up, time for Pinot Noir. We can go with uh, Moussigny. Domaine de la Romaine 2009, excellent wine. I'm so happy to have this wine in, in your choice and you should, you should grab on it. And uh, this one uh, just, calls, just calls for beef bourguignon. So perfect match to make the geographical pairing as well. And we should go like that. And then afterwards, after that, we have one also outstanding wine, uh, Bing Grunge 95, one of the best Australian wine from Penfold, Penfold's Finery. I see also that you have a good vintage, 2010 offered. So you should go with that wine. This is the most uh, full bodied uh, red wine and most full bodied wine that we have in our wine list uh, for, for this dinner. So with this one, I would uh, go with uh, classic. I would go with beef Wellington served with winter vegetables. And we will make you excellent Bordelaise sauce with it on the, uh, that we will serve on the top afterwards. We will slice it a little bit uh, in two inch, two inch uh, ticks uh, that so you can feel the flavor of the beef and the mushrooms in the puff pastry of the beef Wellington. After that, uh, we have two wines. Uh, we have uh, first Zweigelt Ice Wine from Summerhill Pyramid Winery, Okagan Valley 2014. And we have Chateau de Kem, Sauterne 2012. I have to be honest with you, uh, first time that I see Chateau de Kem from 2012, uh, I uh, would like to see it and uh, taste it, but uh, I have to tell you that in uh, 2012, uh, Chateau de Kem declassified its vintage and it did not produce any wine. So maybe it's another vintage, maybe it's another vintage, maybe it was misspelling by the producer. I would like to see the bottle, uh, the bottle to see, to see uh, what, what should we match with it and then to try it, to see if it's another vintage, to see the perfect pairing for it. And for the Zweigeltais wine, uh, I suggest that we go with a uh, very good Schwarzel cake, full rich chocolate cake, because 
of the lot of uh, sweetness that we have in this ice wine, it will uh, match perfectly and a little bit of cherries inside will give that sweet acidity that's so good and this, this should be it. If you want something else uh, for a digestive uh, to add apart from these wines, I'm available, at, I'm available to you. Please, if you have also any questions, let me know. And just to check, double check for this Sotern from Chateau de Cam from 2012. Thank, Thank you. you. And the final task for the first part of your final is beverage identification. We'll just take a second to prepare for it. Can I read the task? Yes. In front of you, you have eight alcoholic beverages. Your task is to connect the glasses with the label on the list that you will be given. This is the list, so you need to connect the glasses with the label on the paper you have in front of you. Are you ready? Shall I write it? Uh, you you just, if you want, you write it. You just need to connect it verbally or <laughs> you write it, whatever. You have four minutes to complete this task. Are you ready? Yes. Time, please. <coughs> So the spirit, the spirit number two is Tara Sokolova Kaisia. The spirit number four is Viljamovka from Zaric, called Nirvana. Spirit number five is excellent Martel Cordon Bleu, amazing cognac in the XO category. Spirit number six, it is Campari. Okay. Spirit number seven, it's, sorry, it's Gorda Šlivovica, plum brandy. Spirit number three, it's Ivan Grozna vodka. Excellent Russian vodka. Spirit number one is the Glen Fiddich, 18 years old malt, and spirit number eight is Bullet Rye. Whiskey that comes from America, and it's very good to do this with, uh, with the list of choices we trained without. <laughs> That's it, I finished. So this is the end of the first part of the finals. In a few moments we will continue with the second part of final competition. And all three competitors will answer their questions and their tasks simultaneously in the second part of finals. One, two, three. One, two, three. One table each. One. Check it, who is one, who is two on the smash one. To je one on the on the Ivan, I, Ivan nije broj jedan u final. Ivan ide na broj dva, Vuk ide na broj tri. E, tako. Sada smo dobri. So guys, are you ready to hear the rules of this task? 
Joint discipline, task number one, magnum bottle of champagne pouring. You have a magnum, magnum bottle of champagne that needs to be poured into 16 glasses. Each glass has to be filled in the same volume. Once you pour the wine in the glass and move on to the other glass, you cannot go back. After pouring all glasses, bottle has to be empty. When you finish the task, leave the bottle on the table. You have seven minutes to complete this task. Do you understand the task? All three of you? Yes. Ivan? Yes. Book? 16 glasses. 16 glasses, seven minutes. Yes. Can we start? Yes. yes. Time, please.
Hvala sa redlom. A quiz, Mr. Ivan, Mr. Mook, Mr. Ljubomir. You will have some interesting photos and questions in front of you on the screen. After you see the photo, 
or question, you have 15 seconds to write the answer on the paper and show it to the judges. I will repeat the task once more. You will have some interesting photos and questions on the screen. After you see the photo or question, you have 15 seconds to write the answer on the paper and show it to the judges. Do you understand the task? Yes. yes. So you will be handed papers. Uh, you will, you, each of you have a, has a paper and a pen on the table. So you take your places like and we can start. So that's the table number one, number two, and number three. So once more, you write the answer down on the paper and show it to the judges. And judges are where? In front of them. The judges are here. Yes, Mina, thank you. So the judges are all around, okay. Are you ready? All around. Are you ready? Time. Show it to the judges. Show it to the judges. Next photo. Ready? Next photo. Write down what's on the picture. What kind of glass? No answer. We have an answer. No. Next photo. You have a choice to put just the glass. <laughs> Next photo, please. Question. What is C6H6O6? Time. Show it all around. Next photo. Ready? Yes. Time. Next photo. Time. And that's it. Još jedan put želim da se zahvalim svim učesnicima, Milici, Mileni, Mijeni, Aleksandru, Nenadu, Aleksi, Kosti, Nikoli, Vuku, Ivanu i Ljubomiru na učešću na sedmom takvičenju Somelijera Srbije. Takođe da ne zaboravim izuzetnu podršku Uroša i Milana tog mojeg takvičenja, Milice, Miladina i Jelene. Došaptovaj, nikoga nisam prozvao. Ja se izvinjam, gospodin Aleksandar Srećković Kubura. Veliki aplauz! 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 Aplauz
Mogu vam reći da smo ove godine najbrši sabrali rezultate. Da se zapali Igor Luković, da ne sam prvi, sad gledam komi, komi, pali Milici i Đurđave, ovaj Mimi i Đurđić da se zahvalio već. Ovo, zvaj, osto neko prije sam. Papić je bio razredni. Nemanja Papić, razredni se rekao. Ivana, Dule i Batabeš. I Bata koji su sve ovo dobili. Za moj stajnog je zadužen. Meksiko. Ko je pridula? Da, Meksiko. Hoće s Gracije, s njoj kugura. Još je nadat da se zahvalio Vitor Halteru, Staroj Sokolovoj, Zanić, Gorda, ja mi ga gledaj samo da složi vred, da ne mogu da uvijek da ovaj prvi, ovaj drugi. Takođe svim srpskim vinarijama, apsolutno svim prenesti i tople pozdrave. Barik firmi, hvala slađa. Takođe Pernodi Karo, Energy Staru i ostalima koji su pomogli od takvče. Naravno, zahvaljujem se i Hayatu, nadam se da su to i noce će preneti svojim šefovima. Nisu, nema vest. Došli smo do onog trenutka koje je za sve, da kažem onako, bitan i svečan, ali za ova tri momka, da kažem onako, verovatno negde gore. Gde su bili, kako su bili, ja ih molim da ih pozdravimo, još jednim aplauzom, izvolite. S obzirom da Čerka gleda stalno onaj grand show, pa ja moram malo ko Saša Petrović. Ljubo, reci nam dve reči o ovom takmičenju. Dve reči o ovom takmičenju, kako ti je bilo, bio si učesnik i prošlogodišnjeg i pre toga... Par kratkih reči. Prošle godine sam samo učestvao, ove godine sam ušao i u finale. Dosta jedna čast i jedno zadovoljstvo. Ne znam šta bi još mogu da kaže, ovo sam stvarno veliko vam hvala. Molim. Samo ću odgovoriti ovo i tvoje druženje, tako da nema na čemu. Vuče, prošle godine si pobedio na šampanjcima. Kako je bilo ove godine? Bilo teže ili lakše? Pa ove godine je bilo malo teže jer je bila malo veća širina mogućih pitanja i mogućih disciplina, ali stvarno nam je zadovoljstvo i sa srećom smo se prijavili i učestvovali i drago nam je zbog publike što je došla i... I mir u svetu, molim. Ivan Nikolić, prošlogodišnji sudija. Kaka je sad razlika, reci. Ja sam se samo i prijavio da ne bude moje godine sudija. Ja moram samo da vam povijem teže biti sudija nego učestvo. Jeste. Jeste, po naruštu kad se razvojiš sa Minom i Đurđom. Ok, ja imam ovdje neki spisak koji su mi dali. Evo ovako, znači, neću, neću dužiti ovaj, bit ću vrlo brz, brzo ću ovo izdeklamovati. Sa 101 po jednom, Ljubomir Bušković na trećem mestu. Mala razlika između ova dva momka do mene, ali ovog puta je više odneo, da kažem, poena Bog Voletić Ivanec Sačića.